Ladies and gentlemen, how are we going today? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope we're doing really, really well. Make sure you're staying safe. Make sure you're having some fun too. Now, today's episode is really special because I've got some fantastic goodies to show you. If you haven't noticed already, I'm not gonna pick them out yet, but I'll give you 10 seconds to have a look around on the table. Anyway, um, let's move on. So we're gonna jump straight into the news. Now, there's some really, really cool news, which I, I saw and was like, right, I have to make a video about it because you guys need to know. Um, if you haven't seen or heard about the Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Tsushima is bringing out a new co-op mode, which is absolutely, look like it looks amazing. Um, it's co-op two player to four player. The four player stuff, I'm pretty sure it has like a horde mode, whereas the actual two player has a story. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's gonna be that long, but it could be really, really fucking cool. And you can upgrade. The system looks like a bit of a Call of Duty loot system, not the microtransactions, but when you level up, you get better gear and so on and so on. So, looks really cool. It's set in like a bit of a, a fantasy world. It's much more kind of inspired by what seems to be Japanese folklore. So that's very, very, very cool. Also some Fortnite news. So we've got some Fortnite players out there. There is the Daredevil Cup, which is moments away. It's a couple of days away. If you get into that, you'll actually get the, um, the costume for Daredevil, which to be honest, like, I'm really, really impressed. Like, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks about Fortnite. They are doing it right. The fact that you can run around and get Wolverine, Doctor Doom, you can get Silver Surface powers, you can get Venom power, like, that is unheard of. I'm convinced that the, they, Epic Games are doing a better job at representing the Marvel Universe than the actual Avengers game. Like, I will still stand by the statement that the Fortnite models for all of the characters in their Marvel crossover look a thousand times better than any of the fucking characters in the Avengers game. That's that's just the way it is. That's the truth. So, uh, look, I'm sure it's probably a bit of fun, but for a free game, how can they just do so well? Whereas the game you pay for fucks it up. And you just mainly versus robots. Like, what the fuck? But anyway, rant over. Play that Fortnite game. Now, also, we've got some really, really kind of odd news, which I'm excited. I think it's great. Although it's, gonna, it's probably not great for my wallet. But I've spoken about it previously, where PS3 games are starting to kind of go up. And they're continuing to go up, which is really cool. When I say go up, go up in price. So now's the time, if you do want to play any of your old school games, to jump on it. Check it out and make sure that, you know, because literally I was online looking at some games the other day and I, as I was refreshing the page, the price was climbing up. So I just jumped on it. So I think I got Marvel Event, so Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2. Both of those games were like, I think 25 to $35. Um, but there's games like Captain America, the first Avenger. It's a PS3 game, old PS3 game. That's going for 145 bucks. I've seen... Uh, the Castlevania Lords of Shadow stuff, which is going anywhere from, so that's Castlevania Lords of Shadow 1, going from 45 to 130. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 is going anywhere from 68 bucks to $288 for a PS3 game. That's fucking insanity. Like, how awesome is that? Uh, so yeah, jump on it now. I've already missed the boat for some of the um, PS2 stuff. A lot of the PS2 stuff's um, sold out or it's just hard to come by. So that's really, really incredible. I um, I, I actually, it's it's about time the PS got some got some dues because there were some really cool games. That, like I've, like I've, I wish I could show you guys the darkness gameplay, um, Space Marine, you know, there's a, a lot of gold gems, which used to be really cheap. So make sure you jump on that now, which is very, very cool. So moving on, let's talk about our goodies today. Well, what I've, what I've kind of collected over the last, well, it's mainly a lot of stuff that I ordered for my birthday, but it's, it's for whatever reason, you know, with, with, with the virus, it's, um, it does kind of fuck the post up. So I, it all kind of came at once, which is awesome. So let's jump into it first and foremost. To what, this bad boy here. This is a Wolverine Marvel Select or Diamond Select uh, figure. Fucking awesome. You've got the little like uh, Weapon X hood here. 
the little background as well. And you can like, he's movable and he, 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 like, I really like the size. At first I was a little bit like, kind of like, I didn't like the face sculpt because it was a bit like, it's, he's just like got a grumpy face, but, but out of the bo out of the box, it's really fucking cool. I actually like it way more now that it's out of the box. Now, moving on to the next fella is my Marvel Legends Venom. I couldn't wait to open this. This is fucking insane. The head sculpt is actually a head sculpt from the Lethal Protector series. Now, I'm not sure if it's the McFarlane one or if it's the, I think it's the Mike Bagley, but whatever, whoever did the that one there, you get the head. I think the McFarlane one has, um, I think that was for the Builder, Builder Figure series. So, which is like kind of like a, it's exactly the same, except you get an extra head and it's kind of like a bluish purple, which I do, I do like that, but I'm over the moon. I can't complain about this figure at all. It's, it's, I'm pretty much set for, for Venom stuff now. So, very, very fucking impressed with that. And we've also got the McFarlane Multiverse Batman, which is from the Detective, uh, the 1000 issue Detective Comics. Um, I'm really impressed with this. For the price I paid for it, 20 bucks. I, I think this is probably the best value figure that I own. For, for the amount of money I paid for it, it it's it's in super great condition, super mint condition. It's brand fucking new. Um, it comes with a grappling hook. It, it comes with a stands, which is like, again, the figure's really cool. Not the biggest fan about the ab bit where it's kind of that you can move the abs, but hey, like beggars can't be choosers. Now, that brings me on to my latest comic haul, which is the, the actual the de de detective. 1000 special edition hard copy which is why I bought the fucking toy there because I saw it and went oh shit it's got some fantastic artwork on this as well this is by a bunch of people we've got um, Jim Lee who did the cover Scott Snyder in the writing a couple other guys we've got Tom King on it who I don't know if you guys know I'm not the biggest fan um, he actually got Tom King actually got pulled off a uh, off a Batman run which is the was the city of Bane he fucked a lot of stuff up there so Look, anyway, moving on. Um, going on to the next stuff, I've got the Doctor Doom Pottersville, or Pottersville, however you say it. This is really fucking cool, because it's kind of, um, Doom gets stripped of, like, his armor, he, he loses his, he gets blamed for a massive, massive fuck up, and it essentially has to clear his name, and it's all about him fighting pretty much, like, barehanded with a lot of the people, like, he fights Taskmaster and fucking owns him, there's a lot of really cool shit, and there's a lot of twists and turns. So it's actually a really intriguing story. So I've only read a few panels of that, but it's very, very cool. Next, we've got the Savage Avengers, which is actually featuring Doctor Doom. So the Savage Avengers, if you don't know, they're like an anti-hero group, or an anti-hero formation of the Avengers. So they're much more violent. I think the Suicide Squad almost but way fucking cooler. You've got Wolverine, you've got Venom, you've got Conan the Barbarian, you've got um, Elektra, you've got, um, was it Brother Voodoo or some shit like that? Uh, and you've got the Punisher. So this this is the volume two of the Savage Avengers and it, go, it chronicles, um, and even in this, Doom is an adversary, he's actually helping and they need to get to the bottom of what's going on. And there's a really, really cool scene where Conan and Doom are kind of like, they're sharing, they're at this massive table, they're, they're kind of sharing, like Conan's eating and he's asking, why don't, why aren't you eating with me, Doom? And he's just like, well, it might be poisoned. And Conan's like, I don't give a fuck. But some really great panels, some fantastic artwork, a great little buy, a little bit kind of pricey for a, for a thing, but look, I'm happy to pay that. That's, that's totally cool. Moving on is the Spawn Origins Collection Volume Uno 1. Like, look how cool that is. I can't um, communicate enough or articulate enough how amazing the artwork is. No wonder back when in the 90s, Marvel and DC were shitting themselves. With, with content like this, it's really hard to keep up. Like, it's engaging. You've, you're getting literally the best of all world. You're getting like the darkness of the Batman stuff, but you're also getting like the cool, like, sorcery powers from Marvel. It's it's amazing. It's really fucking cool. And it's it's kind of... Um, I understand now why Marvel and DC were shitting themselves. So, you remember back in the day when they were kind of doing all those really, really odd crossovers? We literally had Marvel and DC and all that. Some of them were great. 
some of them not so much. They were trying to compete with Dark Horse Comics, I think this is. Is it Dark Horse? Sorry, if I, Image, sorry, Image Comics, I fucked that up. But, um, because they were outselling everyone. Marvel was shitting themselves. So, that's, yeah, that's a bit of history. And that collection goes, uh, I'm not sure how far, but there's a shit ton. And, it, like, I'm holding back for buying it all. I'm like, ah, I want to buy it. Now, moving on to what pretty much made me want to film this is my Batman Hush figure. This is a Mafex figure. Uh, this cost a fucking pretty penny. I, got, I bought this for my birthday. I missed out. Literally, I was on the website and I was just like, mm, uh, mm, I'm not sure if I want to buy it. I don't know if it's worth it. It was gone. Sold out. So as soon as I went, fuck it. Put my order in, did, did another pre-order and had to wait extra long because of COVID. But here it is. It is absolutely amazing. It's like you totally... Um, what's the word? Like you can adjust the capes so the capes got these pipe cleaners inside of it which are fucking amazing uh so it means you can get the really cool shots so you see the batman um poster behind me this is literally him so you see how you see all the poses you can do that in real time so i am opening this very very soon look bonus round da 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 ah is david jones fucked up so they had a order, which was, I thought I bought Iron Man from, from, uh, for Infinity War. Turns out, they sent me Proxima Midnight from the Marvel Legends series. So, that's her there, which, I don't mind it. So, I am gonna eventually return this and, uh, trade it for, and I think the head, the head sculpt looks like, um, Jeff Goldblum. I don't know if that's a good thing for him or, or a good thing for her, but anyway, let me know. That should be pretty much it for today's video. I just want to let you guys know. Also, Bedlam and Squalor Deciduous Album is on Spotify now or very, very, very shortly. I already put a, a link in the in the um, description below where you can check out some of the music that's been playing throughout this video. Um, I've already released three singles off it. So, it, and it ranges from like heavy metal to kind of like loungy shit to a bit of like hip hop. It's all instrumental. Um, I've had so much fun making it, uh, co collaborating with really, really amazing musicians. So big shout out to those guys. If you're watching this, thank you so much for helping me out and dropping those dope tracks there. Um, but yeah, that'll be very, very soon. But anyway, catch me live Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays sometimes, either on Twitch, Bedlam and Squalor, which I'm currently playing San Andreas. So if you want to check out some really cool gameplay, um, I need to do a mission today, which I, I fucked up last night, but it's really, really cool. So join me on my Twitch for that. But if you want to watch some more horror stuff, I'm playing Vampire Vampir at the moment. This is my first playthrough and I'm loving it. So I'm doing episodes on my YouTube channel with that as well. So, and drum stuff. There's always drum stuff and videos like this. So thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you click on the link below. Check out my music, subscribe, drop a comment. Have a lovely afternoon and we will see you next time. Make sure you take care of yourself, guys. Peace, peace, yeah? All the best.